Oh my goodness. Tell me other people are like this because every time it hits April, I don't care if it's snowing outside, which by the way it is, welcome to Canada. I get an itch to like, deep clean everything and also redecorate, but that's a different story. And what did TikTok and Instagram and Amazon present to me? A bunch of cleaning gadgets, of course. And just when I think I've tried them all, there are new ones that pop up that everyone just loves, just swears by. And so I bought them and we're gonna clean my house today. So we need to unbox and test it. I even set up a second camera. Hello down there. Now, actually before we do un unbox it. Okay, so I have so many products right now. I found enough for two two cleaning videos. So if you like this video and you think we should do like another round, let me know and I'll, I'll just buy some more. There's one in particular that I am very curious about. Like that, like that squirrel, you know? Anyway, this one is by a brand that I have. What do I have by this brand? I feel like I tested a mirror or something from them. Anyway, it's Simple Human. She's um, a paper towel holder that has the cleaner built into it. That's kind of fun. What are you? Instructions. I think it's gonna be pretty straightforward, but I'll keep it just in case. Oh, this is really pretty. I got the brass because I love brass. I just, I think it's so pretty. Oh, it's heavy. Kind of don't want to ruin it with some paper towels. They're like fancy paper towels. But oh my gosh, it's kind of like a little, look at this. And it like clips on like that. Wow. Now I will say she is expensive. She's real expensive. I don't know many people who have this kind of counter space or want to showcase the paper towels as fancy as this. Maybe if you're always reaching for cleaning supplies, that would be a bonus. Let's bring this downstairs and see if I use it. All right, let's uh, get paper towel for this. Okay, my roll obviously has been used. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, let me put some like stuff in here, okay? That in there. Still have to hold it to like rip it off. Okay. So here's what I think. What I think is that I, I don't normally use paper towels for like cleaning the kitchen, you know? I use like rags basically. And the really the only time I use paper towel is either A, as a napkin, B, for anything that's going to stain like raspberry or something like that, or something falls on the floor and it's really dirty and disgusting, then paper towels. But otherwise I mostly use like rags for every day. It is a statement, beautiful piece. I really like the nozzle on the spray thing. It's beautiful. If you use paper towels all the time or you use the um, reusable ones where you have to like roll them up after you wash them or something like that maybe, I, I don't know, but like it's really pretty. She's very like showy, but it's not something that I would personally, personally recommend. Okay, now a cleaning tool I have seen all over TikTok. Everyone seems to love this, especially if you have pets. If you have pets, this is supposed to be like a game changer. And since I don't have any pets, I'm contemplating bringing this over to my sister's house and um, testing it with her. She has two dogs. One is white and one is black, so. Lots of dog hair color options. And it's this like squeegee mop kind of thing. So it kind of looks like this and it just is supposed to like squeegee up stuff. Now, again, I don't have dogs, but I do have children. So it'll probably pick up some stuff. It seems pretty straightforward. And you can see at the end here, it's got like this like, you know, silicone thing. So. We'll see if this actually picks up stuff. And since I'm going downstairs with the broom, I figured, you know, we're gonna get, we're gonna do a two in one. Cause I have another broom and this one I feel like is of crucial importance. Because again, I don't know about you, but I don't clean under my like sideboard and cabinets as often as I should. So I got this guy. What an almost copyright infringement that is. Oh, you are. Toe in the line there, my friend. It is a microfiber dusting cloth for like gap cleaning. So it's long and thin and it's gonna get a good amount of surface area, get under those like low hanging kind of sideboards. So you don't have to like move it out of the way. No one wants to do that. No one's gonna do that. She said, knowing someone is gonna comment that they do in fact do that. And listen, your house is probably cleaner than mine. Okay, so this comes with an extra cloth. These can go into the washing machine, which is great. 
So you can just make this a little bit longer, a lot longer than I thought. That was easier to put together than the, than the silicone guy. And they are the same length. Look at this. Look how long this thing is. This is ridiculous. All right, people, let's go. Battle of the Mops. This is the one in particular that I was thinking of being absolutely disgusting. Are there probably toys under there as well? Yeah, probably. Let's find out what treasure we find. Oh, a push pin. Good, good. Oh, gross. Honestly, I'm just impressed there are no toys under it. Oh, no, I lied. It was a car. In case anyone was wondering. Okay, this is the damage we got on it. And then it also has swept out a bunch of bigger crumbs that like it couldn't pick up. Wow, it is clean back there now. Aha! Oh wait, and then maybe the silicone thing. I don't know, maybe it'll pick this up better. Honestly, I don't know about this thing. feels like it's scraping against my floors. So I mean, is the silicone probably a little bit more hygienic than a broom is? Yeah, probably. I'm still not convinced on it though. So let's let's try another area. Okay, let's try under this, this guy. This one's a little bit easier to get things with like a regular broom and stuff. It's picking up on stuff. There's a lot of dust under there. All right, I'm sure this is disgusting now. What I appreciate is that it's gray, so you can't tell. It's pretty good. I think this is more for, for pet owners, this thing. I don't think I'm the market for this guy. It's getting all the stuff, I appreciate that. It's also, you know what? It's not leaving the little dust bunnies and stuff in the silicone, whereas it would in like a broom. Christopher, yeah. what do you think of this? as a broom alternative. It's gonna pick up those, you see the little dust bunnies and stuff? Mm -hmm. It's too big and it's not as uh, maneuverable is my only issue. It does a good job picking things up. Look at all that, look at all that hair. But you can't, you can't corner as well. You can't get around things as easily. Cause it's not, it's not as bendy. I don't know if you can see like hairs and stuff. I wonder if it's getting stuff out of like the the cracks in my floor too. Hang on, we need to test this a little more. Here we go, here's some soothing broom content. Huh, well that is um, very interesting. I'm gonna try like a similar area to this, not the one I just did obviously, but this area and see what the broom picks up versus this. All right, that was um, lackluster at best. Let's um, do the same area with the silicone broom and see if it picks up anything additional that the broom did not. Didn't really pick up anything additional. I'm gonna give this to my sister because I feel like that is where this thing is gonna shine. Oh wait, actually, before we go to my sister, I just realized I gave no update on the long duster thing. I think if you have a lot of hard to reach places with heavy furniture where that kind of Swiffer-like thing or you know, the old school way where I put like a rag at the like the top part of a broom and like <laughs> sweep under. If that's not working for you, this is great. It is a really good piece, honestly. Doesn't take up a lot of real estate, which is great. I love that you can wash the little cloths on it. It works really well. So if you have been looking and you were wondering if it worked really well, I, I do like it. Hi buddy. A little bit nervous about the whole thing. Thank you, please. Oh, he's so brave. It's not pulling a lot of the hair on just like a one-way swipe. It doesn't do a two-way because you can't push it that way. Like I want it to just be like making a pile of hair and like it sort of grabs a little bit of it, but it certainly doesn't like loosen it up much. Okay, we'll try it on my area rug here. I feel like it works better on this. Yeah, 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 yeah. look at that. That's better. Other thing that could be helpful is if it's good on the couch cushions, because this is a buffy spot on the couch. <laughs> eh, not really. So it's definitely moving the hair on the carpet runners, but like my vacuum, like my carpet beater bar vacuum does the same thing. Let's do this. Okay, that seems to be doing something. Yeah, all right, I'll buy that. I don't know if it picks up any more than the vacuum does by itself, but it's really easy to do on the hardwood floors. So if you had like a lot of hardwood, you could probably just use this thing instead of 
sweeping. I think that would be more effective. Okay, so this next one technically is a little bit more my other channel, but we're gonna test it out here because I saw it and I was like, I didn't know it existed. And it, <laughs> it's expensive. And I'm sure it's meant for like hair salons where you need to clean and sanitize brushes all the time. But I wanted to do it because I am always cleaning my brushes because I don't want to transport, transfer all of the oils from my greasy second day hair into my new fresh and clean hair. Because then I just wasted time washing my hair. So I got this nifty guy. This is, <laughs> it cleans, it steams, your hair brushes. It's a double cleaning electric brush cleaner that makes removing hair from your hair brushes better, faster, I don't know. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this. What? Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Wow, that's industrial. All right, hold please while I figure out the instructions. Okay, we're back. I grabbed brushes and it didn't say specifically any like don't use this kind of brush or anything like that. So I'm gonna take that to assume I can use anything. This was the brush that I kept seeing in all of their like advertisements and stuff. So I'll start with that one. And then we'll just, we'll try the other ones. So I filled it with water because it does it first. It like decomb, gets the hair out, decomb, not decomb, combs. Anyway, does that first and then it steams it. So it's like sanitary. It's blinking red. You know, I read all of the setup and then I didn't <laughs> didn't look into what the indicator light would mean. The red light flashes. Press the cleaning switch and put the brush in the cleaning system. It'll be clean after two, two to three minutes. All okay. right. It says keep rotating it. There is stuff flying off of this. Also worth noting, this is fairly aggressive. So if you have, <laughs> can you even hear me? If you have, you know, delicate brushes, maybe don't do this. Cause it's like, Argh! like it's really getting everything out of there. That is very interesting. There's a lot of disgusting hair in there though. Gross. And I don't know if you can see this, but there are like buzz, which I am to understand is like, I don't know, stuff on your scalp. I don't know, but that looks disgusting. Ew, it's gonna. Put that in there, add it to the tally, and then you're gonna steam it. Okay, so I need to like do that, and then once it, it isn't flashing anymore, then I can press the steam button, and then it'll steam clean my brush. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> scared me. It says don't put any body near the vents and stuff because steam. And it's gonna go for 40 seconds. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. <laughs> I am so excited to see my brushes after this whole, this is like a spa, a spa for my brushes. I'm so excited. Ta-da, she's smoking. That is a clean brush. Oh, not at the end. The end did not get cleaned for some reason, I don't know. Maybe I didn't pull the thing through enough, but like there's like little bits coming off of it. But otherwise, that is the cleanest I have ever seen this brush look ever in its whole life. She is sparkling, pretty impressive. Okay, well, let's see what it does with this brush. So this is the before. Like, look at that, I'll just keep coming up to the end. I honestly, like I clean my brushes. Like I put them through, I, I am, in shock at how disgusting this ended up being. I don't know if you guys can see this like well enough, you know? Like I need you to like fully appreciate the level of disgust. You guys see that? And all the dust and everything being collected in the back there. And that's not even in the actual collector. That was from basically one brush, maybe two. Ooh. Interesting note, it is taking out a bunch of the bristles too. So I'm gonna try and do it a little bit softer because I'm wondering if I'm just like destroying my brushes <laughs> unintentionally. But uh, yep, that's, that's really gross. I know I just keep going on about this, but like, are you kidding me? Genuinely shocked, shocked. I have to cut all of this hair out of here. So it's like all 
tangled up. This is a lot of work. I'm gonna be honest, this is a, a lot of work. However, the results don't lie, people. You saw my brushes. To me, they did not look that bad. Now, I am realizing that I am just cutting hair off of another brush that I'm now cleaning. Hmm, let's continue on. Looks pretty dang clean, let's try this guy. That took it out real fast. Okay, I'm gonna steam them and then we're gonna see what it actually took off my brushes. First of all, I guess like here's the after. And then this one, it did really easily. And then this one. So I mean, it did a pretty thorough job. Like, I mean, it's not perfect, I would say. Like there's still like little bits on here a bit and it seems to collect some of it near the front of the brush. But like it did a better job at cleaning it than I ever have and to be Completely honest, I washed this recently and um, I thought I was cleaning my brushes and apparently not. So first of all, this is covered in stuff. So there's that. And then, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. So this is what it took off of my brushes that were not that terribly dirty. That is a lot of stuff. And there's also like, you know, lots of fuzz and stuff in in this machine too. And then that's the water that it took off. Be honest, that's not that bad. Not mud water, you know? Listen, if you have money to burn, <laughs> this is fun and also effective. Do I think that the average person needs this? I don't, I don't know. Not even, I was thinking like hair salons and stuff. I don't even think they should use it. This is something that would be fun to like rent you know, and like have a big, I don't know why I was thinking party. Can you tell I'm in my thirties? I'm like, and then we get everyone together with their dirty brushes. <laughs> like I cannot believe how much came off of those brushes. Yikes. Okay, next on the list, I found something and then I found a dupe for it and we're gonna test both. And that is the Scrub Daddy Damp Duster. Now I love Scrub Daddy brushes, not brushes, sponges words today. I am obsessed with them. I have multiple stocks. My sisters-in-law use them. They are by far and away the best sponges, uh, hands down. This right there, ooh, it's a weird feeling. It's like fresh Play-Doh, but it holds its shape. That's the best way I can describe it. This is their damp duster. So you're supposed to put water on this and then use it anywhere that you would need to dust. This is Scrub Daddy. This is the dupe. Do they feel similar? Yes and no. This one almost feels, it almost feels wet and I can't explain why. Obviously this, the dupe is a little bit smaller. It's a different color. It's a little bit more impacted, I guess. Let's see if it actually does the same thing. These are the questions. All right, so I'm gonna run these under water. I'm gonna try and clean similar things and just see like ease of use. How much does it pick up? I just see if it's actually worth it to buy the scrub daddy because again, their sponge is incredible. All right, let's, um. Let's dust some stuff. Why is this making such a weird sound? I hate that. It's not doing corners very well. I thought it'd be good for like window ledges and stuff because of all these like little grooves and stuff, but it's really not. So I'm gonna do some other areas. Let's try my son's um, bookshelves. Scrub daddy. All right, that picked up some stuff. Let's do a different shelf with the other one. Like all the giant Lego builds. Oh my goodness. All right, the knockoff. I can't, you see that terrible job? I'm attempting to actually clean here and follow with the camera and I just, apparently I can't do all three at once. There we go, ta-da, that cleaned well too. Again, corners, corners are not the forte of this thing. Like, is it picking up dust and stuff? Yeah, it is. Like, I'm sure that's pretty grimy. A small side note, I am finding that I like the feel of the Scrub Daddy one better, just in terms of like, I like that it's a little bit bigger. It's just easier to hold. Like, I don't think at the end of the day, it's like much of a deal breaker, but just of note. I mean, I'm gonna go on to my daughter's room. <laughs> By the way, you saw my son's room, right? His bookshelves right now. Then let's look at Julia's immaculate. This is the knockoff one. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not noting a huge difference here. Grub Daddy sponges, huge win, absolutely must have. I will link them. But this, I think you could just do the knockoff and it'd be just as good. I like how I'm still here. I'm just like, well, you know, I'm cleaning anyway. I might as well just finish the job. These are like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's doing a good job. I've never used these type of sponges before and I, understand the height. That's so easy. And there's not dust flying everywhere. These are awesome. <laughs> and then what would be a cleaning video without testing a vacuum? But what kind of vacuum is this? This has to be the most 
specific vacuum I've ever seen. Like just in terms of the name, the name is called the Mattress Vacuum Cleaner. Yeah, is it only for your mattress? No, it's not. I've seen people use it in like a bunch of different ways. It's like a small, what were those things called that we used to have? You know, the little handheld ones your mom would make you use when you drop crumbs on the floor. What was that thing? Dust Buster? Is that what it was called? This is bringing me back. Yeah, the little, the little guy. Anyway, this is what it reminds me of, but it's got like a UV light, it's gonna clean stuff. So um, yeah, yeah, I bought it. It looks so cool. UV 10 vacuum. Do not use to pick up flammable or combustible materials like lighter fluid. Well, that's a good note, I was gonna do that. Oh, here's another fun one. This has a UV lamp in it. UV lamp. Do not watch the bottom of product during using to avoid UV leakage. I don't know what that means. Don't apply the UV lamp directly on human or animal skin. Oh, <laughs> seems pretty straightforward. This is just a modern dust buster. Maybe, I don't know. She's so cute. Let's um clean some stuff, shall we? We have it anyway. Okay, wait, I think I understand it now. You can basically use it on any surface you want. It's going to UV clean, like, like sanitize it and also clean it. So for like couches or pillows, mattresses, anywhere you're going to get this like accumulation of dust and you want to sanitize it. I suppose. The whole UV light thing, not staring at it, it's just sort of throwing me off a little bit. But we're gonna try it on a pillow, cause why not? I can't test really if it's going to kill any bacteria. I think that's the other thing that annoys me. I have no way of knowing if that's actually doing what it says it's going to do, you know? I want to believe it, I do, I just, I don't know. I'm gonna get some of my pillows from downstairs and I'm gonna vacuum them and see what dust it collects. All right. Upstairs pillow, downstairs pillows. All right, three pillows. This is what we collected off of it, which I mean isn't insignificant, to be honest. That's kind of gross. Should I be vacuuming my pillows more often? That's disgusting. You know what I was thinking while I was vacuuming? Okay, hear me out, hear me out. So products like this, where it's like, you know, when you're vacuuming your couch or when you're vacuuming your pillows or you're cleaning your brushes. Those are products that have a very specific purpose and they're not an everyday item, at least in my world. This is something that you would do, like pull out those machines, best case, what? Couple of times a year, four times a year? Six? Best, best case. So my thinking is, is that if you have like friends and family in the area, everyone go in on a couple of these kind of niche products and then you rotate them. Through, through the people, that whoever needs it. And then each year, you pick one person that is going to house that particular product for the year. I can see value in that. That's just, that's my two cents. Cause I mean, like, it works. I got stuff off of my pillows that I didn't, I didn't know existed. I didn't know I had so much, like it's not even like fluffs in this, like there's dust, that's gross. I'm not gonna clean my pillows all the time, but I would buy something like this and go in on it with like, my parents and Lo and Bren and like my sister, like I would pick people in my vicinity and then we would all go in on it and then we would like share it, you know? That would be fantastic. I'm trying to think of how I can how I can pitch this to Lo. Hey Lo, you wanna go in on a, a fun little UV, UV light thing? You don't have to store it this year. I'm absolutely taking that around my house and like doing some more pillows and stuff. But like, again, this is something that I would never never use like on a regular basis ever. Should I? Yeah, probably, but I wouldn't. It is cool though. So let me know what your favorite product is and what your favorite thing is to clean. Cause I feel like we're all, I mean, we can all be honest, right? Like we have something that we enjoy doing. Personally, big fan of vacuuming. I don't know why, I just feel very productive doing it. And give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see another round of this and we'll buy some more cleaning gadgets or if you have other cleaning gadgets that we should test out, leave them down below. I will link everything down below as per usual. Check those out if you are interested and check out these videos on the side in case you're interested, if you wanna see some more stuff. Hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll see you guys all in the next one.